What's up guys? Now we're going to be talking about why dolls freak me out. Well, just look at this picture. Throw up a picture right now. Just look at that. Ah! That's it. That's all you need. Seriously, I, I'm all, I'm done. Here, take this mic. Um, I'm all done. Look, I understand right. stuff for you, right? Look, I told you, I, that's it. That's literally all they need. Wait, can you please go back out there? No, I'm not going to go back out there. Like, look, you this is ridiculous. Just, I just breathe. I told you, I don't. I know, I understand, okay? I understand. I know, but I, I'm saying... Let's go back out there. Please, for the viewers. Alright, alright, fine. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Owen messing with you. Thank you, CP and Lee, for having me on here for Horror Needs a Hero, a segment of Killer Dolls. I hate those killer dolls because they're creepy little bastards. They're just creepy. Totally makes sense. Uh, <laughs> on the other hand, they are also very fascinating at the same time. Now let's get started on how this came about. When I was a young child, probably around 10 years old, I got introduced to these fucking child's play movies. Chucky man, you freaked me out. Ah! Innocent doll becomes alive and it kills people and you don't like that. Evil. I said talk to me damn it or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire. You stupid bitch. Ah! You just like that. Freaks me out. As a little kid, you just see this guy sneak around. He could be underneath your bed. He could be right over there. He could be anywhere. It's so creepy because he could be right around the corner. He can fit in small places. And he just jumps out at you and just does whatever. It's coming back. That's the thing that scares me the most, especially in the third one, is that when Andy grew up, He's still there. He's still after him. We always see horror icons come back like Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and even Freddy. They come back, but yet you just see them as like this guy, this grown ass guy chasing after you. This is a fucking doll. Where's bad language? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Like you just see this doll and the doll alone is just creepy looking. It's the good guy doll. That alone is fucking scary. So creepy, but yet fascinating at the same time too because Chucky Child's Play is my favorite horror movie of all time. Even the second one is fantastic. When I watch these movies I'm like <laughs> so till this day I will not get a Chucky doll. Nope not doing it. I'm afraid it's gonna come alive. So creepy and it's just three <laughs> Hello? Like that, and just freaky well. <laughs> Fucking hate those things. <laughs> I can't do this no more. No, 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 you're doing fine. You're I doing just fine. Can't. Just keep going. All right, you got this. And I just find it very fascinating to watch. It's kind of like saying, I love zombies, but what I want is zombie apocalypse. No! I find it entertaining, suspense, and it thrills me, it gives me chills, and I love watching it for some reason. I love watching killer dolls. Before Chucky, there was other killer dolls involved, like Poltergeist, the Clown, uh, Puppet Masters. And even now, we get an Annabelle. Her movies seem to be thrown in these killer dolls because they know they are effective. They know they will get the job done, they will creep audiences out. Just look at the Saw franchise. Brutal ways on killing a person, but yet, let's throw in a fucking doll in the mix. You better hurry up. Live or die. Make your choice. Not alone, it's just a doll talking to you. Not only is creeping you out, but then you have to do the task on how to save yourself. Even more <laughs> creepy here. I wanna play a game. I say I didn't like the first Conjuring, but the part that I loved was the Annabelle at the very beginning. It started out small. Hand or a leg was in a different position, and its head was looking up instead of down. And then one day it was in a completely different room. And then when we got a spin off of that, but there was one scene where I actually lifted up, and I was like, oh yeah, the baby, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and also dolls are being involved not only in movies, but TV shows as well. I don't know the famous one of all, Slappy. From the Goosebumps TV show. I would love Goosebumps, and those were the freakiest episodes ever. Just see this doll 
One moment it's there, bam, it's gone. You have no idea where it is. He chills already right now. <laughs> oh, Family Matters, another episode, a Halloween special where Urkel got his own Urkel doll and it came alive. Well, not only was it scary. But you're made of wood. You can't walk. You can't talk. Oh, yeah. And I suppose I can't dance either. But it was also hilarious at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really enjoy killer doll movies. I have a blast because they're so creepy, but yet I can't keep my eyes off of them. And I also enjoy watching these movies because of that. That's why Chucky made a huge impact in my life. But uh, Yeah, I just love them in horror movies. I get a blast out of them. Thank you again, CP and Lee, for having me on Horror Needs a Hero, Killer Doll segment. It's been a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you later.